The coronavirus has emptied out cities. Fewer people are driving cars. Or Market turmoil is about more than just the virus. Oil prices suffered a historic collapse late Sunday after Saudi Arabia shocked the market. Well, in the USA, the price of oil has collapsed to a record low as demand dries up. A little over a week ago, the group of oil producing nations, OPEC, agreed to cut production by 10 per The world has just not been But gone. many of the world's major oil producers have been pumping more than ever, leading to a crash. <laughs> Welcome to the Coronation Breakfast Session theme, Discovering the New Normal, the impact of COVID-19 and the collapse of oil prices. My name is Walid Mamirwa. I'm delighted to be moderating today's program. And we look forward to discovering the new normal in the context of Nigerian oil producing nation. No doubt the historical decline in oil prices has really shaking the economy in a way that many have never seen before. There's a new reality that has enveloped the whole world, and Nigeria is not immune to these changes. Our intention this morning is to help you, in spite of all the noise, to provide just one thing, to give you clarity. We believe that this is the most critical thing you need as you navigate your path forward in this uncharted terrain. And more importantly also, align their risk management to business objectives and begin to identify opportunities in the current situation. So, it is only businesses that have gone through these two phases that will be prepared for the new normal. Despite the challenges in the logistics space and environment, people are still exporting. It now comes around how um, crazy, crazy and aggressive your teams are in mm. terms of managing your finance costs. So even if on the upside, on the logistics side, you can offset it on the finance side. Uh, manufacturing is just about still growing. It had 0.4% year-on-year growth uh, in the first quarter of this year. But I think with you know the impact of a um, shortage of raw materials on the supply side and then um, uh, less consumer um, expenditure on, on the demand side, then that will go into uh, recession as well. Real estate very likely to go into recession is already in recession uh, in the fourth, first quarter of this year. We're at a point of inflection um, in the way the world works and in terms of business. Uh, we've seen uh, acceleration of trends that we've seen already, but that acceleration now means that the future is going to be very different from the past. Stakeholders in the market have been engaged and feedback is that there is demand. Even beyond what she said, if we look at the last auction where um, the bond auction was seven times oversubscribed, that's significant. So it tells yeah. you that there's so much, there's liquidity in the market. Um, I think um, the pandemic was an opportunity to further enlighten our clients as to how they can navigate these uncertain times. Historically, whether the 14th century Black Death, 1918 uh, Global Flu, there has always been a new normal at the end of the whole day. Coronation seminars are an ongoing event. This is the third one we've had over the last two years. We had a previous breakfast seminar for corporates. Earlier this year, we had a seminar for FIs, as it shows, this is the second one for the corporate for the corporate space. We are looking to do another one later this year. Uh, this will be an ongoing event, and we should be able to create significant value for our customers around major issues that affect their businesses going forward.